Hi, this is Rob. This is the Ninja Speedy SF301 Rapid Cooker and Air Fryer. What do you get in the box? The Ninja Air Fryer itself, a removable crisper tray, and a six quart cooking pot. The crisper tray can fit in the middle or fit on the bottom of the cooking pot. With the crisper tray in the middle, you can cook two different types of food at the same time. You can put rice, pasta, or veggies in the bottom and meat, chicken, or fish on top. So this Speedy can steam the food below and air fry the protein above at the same time. However, this will cause drippings from the protein above to drip down to the food below. This can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on the food. To fit the crisper tray to the middle of the cooking pot, fold down these four legs, and those legs fit into these grooves of the cooking pot. Also in the box, you get an owner's manual and a quick start guide. Inside the quick start guide are recipes for the Ninja Speedy. The heating elements. There are two heating elements inside the Ninja Speedy. A top heating element for air frying and a bottom heating element for steaming. Every air fryer has a fan, and the fan in this air fryer is behind the top heating element. This air fryer has a hinge top, and because of the hinge top, you're going to need a lot of overhead space. To work the controls, the first thing to do is power on the air fryer by pressing the power button here. Then you need to move the smart switch up or down. Those are the only two positions for the smart switch. In the up position is rapid cook, and on the control panel, the rapid cooker light will illuminate. Then you can choose one of the settings under rapid cooker. To choose one of the rapid cooker settings, use the up and down arrow buttons here. You can choose speedy meals. With speedy meals, you can make a complete meal. Speedy meals is for making rice or pasta on the bottom and your meat or fish on top. You can use aluminum foil on the crisper tray prevent drippings from getting into the rice or pasta on the bottom during cooking. Aluminum foil is safe to use inside the Ninja Speedy. Use the included recipe booklet to find Speedy Meal recipes. To make a Speedy Meal, follow the instructions in the recipe. To make a Speedy Meal, add liquid and ingredients according to the recipe in the bottom of the pot. Pull out the legs on the crisper tray, then place the tray in the elevated position in the pot. Add ingredients to the tray per recipe instructions. Close the lid of the Speedy and set a temperature based on the recipe. The temperatures in the Speedy Meals setting range from 250 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Set the cook time based on the recipe. The maximum cook time using the Speedy Meals setting is 30 minutes. Press the start button to begin. The Ninja Speedy will begin to preheat. As the Speedy is preheating, you will see progress bars on the LCD screen. The cook time will not begin until the Speedy reaches the cooking temperature. The recipes will not give the preheat time, only the cook time. So actual cooking will take longer after you press the start button. Preheat time can take between five to 10 minutes. After preheating, the Speedy will begin cooking and the cook time will count down on the LCD screen. When the actual cook time has finished, the Speedy will beep and end will display on the LCD. The next rapid cooker setting is Steam and Crisp. It is very similar to Speedy Meals. Steam and Crisp is used to create a combination of juicy and crisp results. Recipes that call for Steam and Crisp are used for larger meats or for vegetables. This setting will make your food crispy outside but juicy inside. You will place a crisper tray on the bottom and only cook the meat or vegetable in the speedy pot. There are steam and crisp charts in the included recipe booklet for all types of food. The charts tell how much food to add, how much water to add, the water is to produce the steam, which position to place the crisper tray, the cooking temperature and the cooking time to set. It also provides the preheat time between four to eight minutes. After you place all the ingredients according to the chart, Close the lid and set the cooking temperature and the cooking time according to the chart. The cooking temperature for the steam and crisp setting will range from 250 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. 
the cooking time for a steam and crisp setting will range from one minute to 30 minutes. Then press the start button to begin the preheating process. Preheating for steam and crisp takes between four to eight minutes. When preheating, you will see a progress bar on the LCD. When the speedy reaches the appropriate steam temperature level, the cooking time will begin to count down on the LCD. When the cook time reaches zero, the speedy will beep and display in on the LCD. The next rapid cooking setting is steam and bake. When using steam and bake, the crisper tray is on the lower position. Steam and bake is used to bake fluffier cakes and quick breads faster and with less fat. With this setting, you can bake frittatas, cakes, banana bread, bread puddings, meatloaf, pot pie, or dinner rolls. Here are some recipes for steam and bake in this speedy cookbook purchased separately. Chocolate pudding, lava cake, beef pot pie, meatloaf, walnut banana cake, chocolate muffins, beef burgers, cupcakes, pita bread pizza, and simple donuts. After you place all the ingredients according to the speedy recipe, close the lid and set the cooking temperature according to the recipe. The cooking temperature for the steam and bake setting will range from 250 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then set the cooking time according to the recipe. The cooking time for steam and bake setting will range from 1 minute to 1 hour and 15 minutes. Then press the start button to begin the preheating process. The preheating time is usually not mentioned in the recipes. When preheating, you will see a progress bar on the LCD. When the speedy reaches the appropriate steam temperature level, the cooking time will begin to count down on the LCD. When the cook time reaches zero, the speedy will beep and display end on the LCD. Next, under the rapid cooker setting is steam. Steam is for gently cooking delicate foods at high temperature. You can use steam for steaming vegetables, potatoes, or poaching eggs. The crisper tray is used in the bottom position for this steam setting. There is a steam chart and included recipe booklet. The steam chart tells you the type of food, the amount of food, the preparation, which means put the food in whole or how to cut it, how much liquid, which is water, to use, and the cook time to set. The steam chart does not give you a temperature to set because you cannot set the temperature in steam mode. The speedy will heat the water until it boils, producing steam. So, after you prepare the food, place the correct amount of water in the pot, and place the food on the crisper tray, with the crisper tray in the bottom position in the speedy, close the lid, and set the time according to the steam chart or according to the recipe. Remember, you cannot set the temperature in this steam mode. Then press the start button to begin the preheating process. The speedy will begin to boil the water. When preheating, you will see a progress bar in the LCD. When the water begins to boil, the cooking countdown will begin on the LCD. When the cook time reaches zero, the speedy will beep and display end in the LCD. Next setting under the rapid cooker setting is proof. Proof is for proofing dough if you want to make your own bread. Proofing is a step in the preparation of yeast bread and other baked goods in which the dough is allowed to rest and rise before baking. To use this setting, you will need a baking accessory that is not included with the purchase of the Speedy. Since most people will not use this feature, I will not cover it any further. Now I will cover the air fry settings. To get the air fry settings, Flip the smart switch down. In the down position, the smart switch will say air fry, and the air fry slash stove top light will illuminate on the control panel. Air fry. This is the typical air fry setting. Air fry gives foods crispiness and crunch with little oil added, and some recipes require no oil at all. Recipes using air fry have the crisper tray on the bottom. You can air fry beef, pork, chicken, seafood, vegetables, and frozen foods like pizza rolls, chicken nuggets, and others. There are air fry charts in the included recipe booklet. This chart is for different types of vegetables and chicken. It tells the amount of food to use, the preparation of the food, which is the size of the cut pieces, 
or with the case of chicken, the bone in or boneless, the amount of oil to add, the temperature and cook time settings. It also states in the upper right that the preheat time for air fry is about five minutes. The types of vegetables on this air fried chard are asparagus, beets, bell peppers for roasting, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, butternut squash, carrots, cauliflower, corn on the cob, green beans, kale for chips, mushrooms, russet potatoes, sweet potatoes, and zucchini. For poultry, chicken breasts, chicken thighs, chicken wings, whole chicken, and chicken drumsticks. This air fried chart is for beef, pork and lamb, fish and seafood, and also frozen foods. The types of foods on this air fried chart include burgers, steaks, bacon, pork chops, pork tenderloins, sausages, crab cakes, lobster tails, salmon fillets, and shrimp. For the frozen food part, it includes chicken nuggets, fish fillets, fish sticks, french fries, mozzarella sticks, pot stickers, pizza rolls, popcorn shrimp, and tater tots. To use the air fry setting, put the crisper tray in the bottom of the pot. Add the food according to the air fry chart or the recipe. Close the lid. Set the temperature according to the air fry chart or the recipe. The temperature range for air fry setting is from 250 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, set the cooking time according to the air fry chart or the recipe. The cooking time for the air fry setting can be set up to one hour, but most air fry recipes are about 20 minutes of cooking time. Then press the start button to begin the preheating. During preheating, there will be a progress bar displayed on the LCD. For the air fry setting, preheating takes about five minutes. After preheating, the cooking time will display and begin to count down. During cooking, some air fry foods need shaking, such as french fries. You can open the lid and lift the pot to shake or toss the ingredients for even browning. When done, lower the pot back into the speedy and close the lid. Cooking will automatically resume after the lid is closed. When the cook time reaches zero, the speedy will beep and display end on the LCD. Next under air fry slash stovetop is bake slash roast. For bake or roast recipes, the crisper tray will be on the bottom. Use the bake roast setting like an oven to cook tender meats and to bake desserts. Although it says bake for baking desserts, most of the recipes are going to use the steam and bake on the other side. All the recipes for baking desserts in the included recipe booklet use the steam and bake setting on the other side of the control panel. And I cannot find any recipes from Ninja that use this bake roast setting. However, here are some recipes for bacon roast in this book. Butter cookies, buttermilk biscuits, fruit muffins, flank steak beef, lamb chops, vanilla souffle, simple steaks, beef chuck, beef loin, and pork tenderloin. The next setting down is broil. When broiling, place the crisper tray in the upper position. Broiling uses high heat from the above heating element to caramelize and brown the tops of your food. Broiling is the cooking technique that uses radiant heat from above to cook your food, so it's like upside down grilling. Ninja does not have any recipes for the broil setting. Neither does the Speedy Cookbook that I mentioned before. So if you have your own broil recipes, use those and experiment with the temperature and time. The next setting down is dehydrate. For dehydrating foods, place the crisper tray on the bottom. There is a dehydrate chart in the included Ninja Speedy recipe booklet. You can dehydrate fruits and vegetables or make beef jerky, chicken jerky, turkey jerky, or salmon jerky. But dehydration can take a long time. Dehydrating banana chips, for example, takes between 8 to 10 hours. The next setting down is sear saute. Use sear saute as a stovetop for browning meats, sauteing veggies, and simmering sauces. For searing and sauteing, you will not use the crisper tray. Place all your ingredients in the pot. Then, when you are ready to start cooking with the sear saute, Choose your temperature setting. Your temperature setting choices will be low 1, 2, 3, 4, or high 5, similar to a stovetop. 
There is no time adjustment when using the sear saute setting, but sear saute will automatically turn off after one hour for the temperature setting of four or high five, and will automatically turn off after four hours for the temperature setting of low one, two, and three. With sear saute, you can use the speedy with the lid open or closed. With the lid open, you can keep an eye on your sauce and stir it when needed. The next setting down is slow cook. Use slow cook to cook your food at a lower temperature and for a longer period of time. It's like a slow cooker. For slow cook, remove the crisper tray and place all your ingredients in the pot. In slow cook, the temperature settings you can choose are high, low, or buffet. The time setting for low can be adjusted between 6 to 12 hours. The time setting for high can be adjusted between 4 to 12 hours. The buffet setting provides a warm surface to keep your meals at a serving temperature, not too hot, not too cold. This setting should only be used for food that has already been cooked. The time setting for buffet can be adjusted between 2 to 12 hours. There are no recipes from Ninja for slow cook. But in this cookbook, there are slow cook recipes. Honey beets and onions, pork chops and carrots, jerk chicken thigh, barbecue chicken, lamb chops, jambalaya, curried chicken, Thai beef roast, mushroom beef roast, and salmon chowder. When cook time is finished, the speedy will beep and automatically switch to keep warm mode and time begins counting up so that you know how long the speedy has been in keep warm mode. The next setting down is sous bide. Sous bide is the process of cooking food that has been vacuum sealed, and you cook that food while it's in that vacuum sealed bag in a temperature controlled bath water. The speedy provides that temperature controlled bath water. You can sous bide beef, pork, chicken, seafood, and vegetables. There are sous bead charts and included recipe booklet for beef, pork, chicken, seafood, and vegetables. Sous bead can be complicated and I will not cover it in this video. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.